2023. This is the most prolific request for everyone to stage mass protest rallies. We're reporting live news1.foundation, which is also onepress.foundation. Our name is Keith Duncan. We're the number one victim of organized criminals in Atlanta, Georgia. We've been requesting direct formal emergency requests for now 12 years with any FBI director. The Attorney General Chris Carr includes GBI Director Michael Register. The information is at duncanclaim.org, and this is the information that makes you famous and paid for. It's based upon the canceled restraining order 11.1.1171 that was used to physically kidnap us on October the 3rd, never was September the 25th. And these are the answers for the entire world to finally understand that these criminals are running our world on an emergency basis. Who do you know to meet us in person now? Here is Magistrate Judge Julie Adams Jacobs, who violated every single constitutional law in her rebuttal, case number 21. 13042-68 that we finally filed May the 3rd. We have addressed every single one of the problems with a writ of mandamus. There it is. To, to create $500 million seed fund to be used to finish godsunocracy.org. All these people are directly involved with focus on these original police officers who refused to investigate Ms. Bashama and Robert D. Rose. And this is true. Cobb County illegally granted a restraining order charging Keith Duncan with felony kidnapping, felon misdemeanor assault, obstruction of justice, and a charge of stalking. Unbelievable. Our district attorney, in fact, our attorney was Barry Victor Rental. Everyone has refused to report the crimes because they understand the severity of how criminals all roam freely. And the new Marty Farrell is the current chief of police for City of Marietta. So these solutions, you can pause and see, this was May the 3rd, and we've never got a response back except from City Attorney Douglas Haney. And this is beyond bizarre. Fails to state a claim of relief? What the hell does that mean? Literally. We have already contacted not only every form of law enforcement known to man, including our U.S. military, which is solutionmilitary.com. Here they immediately quote ancient precedent law from 2008 1969, and they've never, 1958, a writ of manifest does not reach the office. We have filed a personal action against every single public official upholding the constitutional law. Unbelievable what they say, nor can it be directed to the office. What the hell does that mean? So they will go to prison. And they're quoting a 1957 when we were conceived. Why would they go back and omit the citations? Because they're not upholding constitutional law. This alone is a sufficient basis to dismiss. No, stage mass protest rallies today, February 28, 2022. The right to redress grievances against the government the right to peacefully assemble. This will scare the living hell, literally, out of these people. It's an extraordinary legal remedy, correct, because no one's ever shown that we were physically robbed of $40,000, Marietta Police Department report, 11, no, excuse me, 1 11 2506 that we filed February the 4th, 2011. 
they forged it and used it to create 11.1.71, excuse me. The law must not only authorize the act be done, but also requires performance. That is correct. Mandamus is the proper remedy to compel the undoing of acts already done and the correction of wrongs already perpetrated. And here they quote, precedent law, which is now going to all go away by the action of you, we, God's people. It's strange that people even object to the word God because they don't want to uphold God's original Ten Commandments, which is why we're dramatically, directly interacting with Peachtree Road United Methodist Church even today. They are our supporters We have no supporters because everyone's in this unbelievable problem. And here they claimed hereby dismissed. And this is the 22nd day of February. And there's her signature that puts her in prison. And of course, we have to file. No, you file the rest of it. And this is our previous address. And these are the people involved. Douglas Haney and obviously Laura McMurphy. Well, there you have it. And the staff attorney. So they never looked at any of the documents. Therefore, they're all guilty. Guilty under the existing United States Constitution passed and ratified by We the People, 1787.